Hey love bugs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I've teamed up with our Bella hair and we're gonna be rocking this beautiful closure lace wig. The texture is Jerry Curly and we're gonna do like literally a 10 minute install. For you guys it's gonna be less than 10 minutes. I'm gonna speed through a couple of things so you don't gotta see. But this one is 100% glueless and look how bomb the lace is. It was pre-plugged to perfection. It already came ready to go. I literally added a powder to it threw a little water on it and we were good to go and again this one is glueless so it's not bonded down at all but don't clock me I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I'll also have a direct link to this wig in the description box and I'm sorry I'm just dictating to you guys be sure to check out the description box for a direct link as well as all the things you'll see in the video will be down there as well and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video Okay, ladies, out with the old. <laughs> Ouch. And with the new, I'm so excited for some fresh hair. So today I've teamed up with Arabella Hair. This is the packaging, and there's a couple things in there. I'll show you a little bit later. This is with this wig, and it is a 22-inch wavy wig. And we're going wear and go. So if you got somewhere to go, you can literally pull this out 30 minutes before you got to go. And guarantee you will be able to walk out of your house looking good like a showstopper like you just left the salon this is the inside construction of the cap so when I say wear and go this is a closure wig so you're not bonding down from ear to ear waiting for the glue to dry doing two and three layers of glue this is one that you can wear glueless it's already set as a center part and it already has a beautiful early texture to it so you really don't have much to do at all which is why we're going to do a talk through today so this is a pre-cut lace wig again set as a center part it is also a closure wig and i don't know if you guys can see that maybe against my black but it has like a scalloped cut this is like camo for lace. So I'm going to start off by tinting the lace. Um, you don't really have to do this because I think you guys already know me well enough to know that I'm probably going to go back in towards the end of the video um, and add more product. But today I'm going to use the Ruby, not Ruby Kisses, I'm going to use... The Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm just dropping things left and right. And this is 360 Coconut. See what I mean by wear and go? See what I mean by we're going to be out the door in 30 minutes or less? Now, obviously, it is too far forward, but this is what it looks like. This is what she looks like from the back. A little bit of a texture shot, if you will. So this one is a Jerry Curly Glueless 6x5 pre-cut HD lace wig in the length 24 inches. So this is the wig here on their website. Oh, and as you guys can see, you can enter that coupon code and you'll be able to get some money off. Add your email address to get some money off. But that is a beautiful um, wig there. This queen is rocking her beautifully. So let's go ahead and just install and style. Now with this one, it does have that um, scalloped cut. But honestly, you do need to trim it down just a little bit. Um, I like the fact that it's already pre-cut because I can just glue this down. But I'm just going to take a little bit of that off. And you can kind of be jagged in your own way. I'm just going to melt it. I don't need a lot because it does fit pretty good. I just want it to fit amazing. So you just let that kind of like soak in there and dry. I just want to give like realistic baby hairs. And this one does have some gray hair in it. I don't know if you guys can see that little strand right there. And then we're going to do the dynamic duo before we do the baby hair. You see how I was able to extend the parting? It looked like the parting was as far back as it can go. But I believe I already told you guys this is a 5 by 6 Now I'm just going to go in and work that in. I'm going to do like one or two heat passes at the very root. Then I'm going to switch it to the back. Because again, I don't want to take away too much of the texture. I just want it to be flat at the very, very, very center of the parting and kind of work from there. Now one thing you can do is you can train the baby hair to go in the direction you want it to go. So you can just take it more so at the root. Just press it 
you can definitely step skip this step but since we're already here let's just do it and then you can cut it so of course we like to use the like eyebrow razor everything with lace and hairlines you like to be jagged but you can really just go in and go and just cut like jagged like that now because I am going with like micro super strip baby hair I don't feel the need to swoop it swooping it does help because it'll help to like train it to like lay how you want it to lay but in this case, I think we will be all right if we don't necessarily do that. And then I'm going to just take my edge control. You guys know the only edge control we, look, we use over here is from my brand, BeatActivity.com. I have an updated formula coming for you guys pretty soon. And I just like to just take a little bit and just work it. Typically at the base, but because it's so short, the base pretty much is the whole length. And because the hairs are so thin, you really can't see them until like you had you could you didn't see no hair near hair there until you lay it this might be right either you feel it or you don't might give it a try yeah now here's a hack this is where the um lace ends and the the cap and the tracks are going to start and I'm just going to lay the roots of the hair that is right there down and it's not necessarily meant to like permanently stay but kind of just like training it to go forward so that we never have to worry about it being a traitor and showing that lace you can see how that is melting really well let's do that same thing on this side Pull the hairs forward. You can add hairspray. Just add something there that's going to help the hair to like marry and cover. Now that to me looks really, really, really good. Now let's work on the ends and we are out of space. So let's go ahead and delete some footage so we can continue to film. Okay, so hair is absolutely beautiful. You guys know me. The parting is laid. The hairline is laid. We don't really need to do much else. But because I want this one to look super fire, um, I'm going to go ahead and play with the ends. Now, this is what the hairline looks like. I literally took and put the melt belt on. I let it set for um, all of the time it took me to free up some memory on my memory card. So it didn't lay that much. And technically, it's still glueless. I'm not going to show you right now because obviously that would be silly. It'll mess up the baby hair, but it is not necessarily like bonded down, bonded down. Look how beautiful the hair is already with no product. I'm going to just use this one and this is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. It's like a marshmallow extract. What is it? Marshmallow extract and agave leaf extract. Um, sweet defining jelly. Um, it's not like a gel to slick your hair down. It is again like a defining jelly. So... I'm going to just add a little bit of product and excuse the background. The girls are having karaoke. This hair is so soft. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not too bulky. It's not too big um, and like hard and crunchy. I always like to put a little extra product at the ends and then like right here where the hair begins. Because I feel like that a lot of times is the parts that will get like super fluffy really easy make sure you put some at the top and at the back to marry everything together i'm thinking we should do some quick little twisties this is a closure so make sure you are covering really Definitely not my best work, but it's kind of cute. Let's do another one on this side. So I think with this one, the nice or the lace is so beautiful that I think I should stick to the powder that I typically use for the hairline on the lace because for some reason I just get the feeling that the powder or the concealer that I typically use will be too light because this is one of those ones where they actually did pre-cut 
um, pre-pluck, <laughs> I said pre-cut, pre-pluck the lace. And it's a nice thin lace. Like this is a bougie lace. This is the lace that's expensive. This is the lace like if you take a big bulky ugly lace to your stylist, they're going to charge you more to pluck it down to look like this so you can walk out of their shop looking like quality. Um so because it's nice and beautiful and like a thin, good, smooth lace, if I put the Concealer that's a little bit lighter is going to look a little bit too much. Um, this looks perfect and it still looks like what a lace should look like. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the touch I did of just twisting the hair back. Now they're not like perfect twisties. They really are kind of like twisted but more so just pinned back. I am a little bit rusty with my twisties but I got to get it together because the girls will be asking for styles like this. You know of course with their natural texture not this texture um, of hair before you know it but I love the way this one came out it's absolutely gorgeous I don't want to do this because I feel like it's going to make the lace lift but it's glueless so you guys can see it's not bonded down at all I still have to take some pictures and you know do my little Instagram one too so I don't want to mess it up too much but I think the micro baby hair was a perfect um, addition to really set it off and just make it look a little bit more natural I don't care what anybody says I don't care how good your lighting is how good of a powder or a lace tint you use how well you pre-plug how quality or luxury the lace is what bomb company you got your wig from if you and I are mano y mano one on one standing friend front I can see that lace just is what it is I can see that lace the only time the lace I can't see in person is when you got a good amount of baby hair like camouflaging and of course the lace has to be thin of course the hair has to be pre-plucked of course the knots should be bleached but you gotta have something there so that like right here in person you can see that but here you cannot see lace if you are with me but here you see that lace and so it's not that you're trying to pass the lace off as being yours but when it comes to like other races or even the opposite sex in person me and you if we both like wigs we got to understand and I got a lace on you already know it we good you got choice on I got mine on yours is good mine is good whatever but when it comes to people who don't wear these they see that and they're like what is that so I gave you camouflage I gave you really good lace they provided us with a good base to begin with but this way we look good and it's easy to put on and off so if you're on vacation you're going out of town I'm trying to go to Vegas this month with the kids um this is a perfect wig for all of that and the ends are super easy maintenance as you guys can see you can literally just use water and you're good to go um if you want to maintain the hair really good a gym and brush and a good product is always a great idea but if the hair is good like the hair is good with this one you don't really have to be too choosy with the product that you use I'm not gonna say anything will work but when you have good hair good quality hair like this you can pretty much use anything because the hair is going to speak for itself so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go again this one did come from our Bella hair and this is the packaging also inside the packaging we did get a little goodie bag oh also we did get um, this looks like a little care kit so inside is an adjustable elastic band you also have like combs so this one doesn't have the combs in there and I kind of prefer to not have the combs but for those of you who will complain and be like we didn't get combs they did give you the combs they did give you the elastic band is your option to put it on and then they also gave us true tape so the true tape is like um to bond the wig down um I showed you guys you don't really need to but this is perfect I haven't used tape glue in years but um you can literally use this add a piece here add a piece here um and bond the wig down and this is going to be perfect like I said I'm trying to go to Vegas this would be the perfect solution to making sure I can get in the pool with the kids and I can jump in and the the or like a water slide and my wig isn't going to be like floating behind me and then also they gave me this goodie bag and inside you do get your wig caps you do get an elastic band or aka a milk belt um, you do get a pack of lashes and then you do get a baby hair brush as well as a little pin and this one is like a, um, a hair pin but it's like scissors gold with rhinestones super duper duper cute and actually I can put this here if I had two that would be super bomb I'm gonna save this one because hopefully the next time I work with them they'll give me another one because how cute is that and do one on each side 
super super cute i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check out our bill of hair direct link to this week in the description box also everything all the details everything we use in this video you can find there as well thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches